heater or furnace in your RV is going to run off of LP fuel and 12 volt power. The first thing is you set the thermostat on the inside of the unit. Um, you have to have at least 10.5 volts um, from battery power to open the gas valve to start the assembly. Um, you have to have the, the proper LP fuel and it will come into this burner assembly here and there's two different types of distribution. In a system like this it actually has a plenum that runs underneath the flooring section and you'll see the vents right in the floor off to the side of the floor. Now a lot of manufacturers, especially in your trailer side, will put in a series of tubes that are coming off of this heater and they will go through the cabinetry and off to the other, other side of it. So basic things to look for if I got insufficient cooling is do I have enough battery power to light this? I also want to check to make sure that this vent out here is open because if I have a spider that likes to smell of propane and spins a web in here, it's going to block this, it's going to restrict my exhaust coming out of here and it's going to restrict it inside. Um, one last thing you can do if you don't have the furnace working, um, check your thermostat inside. You can take the wires apart, touch them together to see if it will light.